Welcome to the next section, K Nearest Neighbors and Naive Bays. In this section, we will start with K Nearest Neighbors. We will then move to KNN Classifier. Next, we will see tuning of K value in KNN Classifier. After that, we will move to Naive Bays. Then, we will understand Bayes' theorem with conditional probability. Next, we will see Naive Bayes' classification and Laplace estimator. Finally, we will see Naive Bayes' SMS spam classification example. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with K nearest neighbors. In this video, we're going to take a look at KNN voter example and curse of dimensionality. K nearest neighbors is a non parametric machine learning model in which the model memorizes the training observation for classifying the unseen test data. It can also be called instance based learning. This model is often termed as lazy learning as it does not learn anything during the training phase like regression, random forest, and so on. Instead, it starts working only during the testing or evaluation phase to compare the given test observations with nearest training observations, which will take significant time in comparing each test data point. Hence, this technique is not efficient on big data and performance gets deteriorated when the number of variables is high due to the curse of dimensionality. KNN is illustrated better with this diagram. Here, the objective is to predict the party for which the voter will vote based on their neighborhood precisely geolocation that is latitude and longitude. We assume that we can identify the potential voter to which political party they would be voting based on majority voters which voted for that particular party in that vicinity so that they have high probability to vote for the majority party. However, tuning the K value, that is the number to consider, among which majority should be counted is the million dollar question. In this diagram, we can see that voter of the study will vote for party two. As within the vicinity, one neighbor has voted for party one and the other voted for party three. But three voters voted for party two. In fact, by this way, KNN solves any given classification problem. Regression problems are solved by taking mean of its neighbors within the given circle or vicinity or K value. Now, let's move to curse of dimensionality. KNN completely depends on distance, so it's important to know about the curse of dimensionality to understand when KNN deteriorates its predictive power with the increase in number of variables required for prediction. This is an obvious fact that high dimensional spaces are vast. Points in high dimensional spaces tend to be dispersing from each other more compared with the points in low dimensional space. There are many ways to check the curve of dimensionality. Here, we are using uniform random values between 0 and 1 generated for 1D, 2D, and 3D space. It is apparent that with increase in dimensions, distance between points increases logarithmically, which gives us the hint that we need to have exponential increase in data points with increase in dimensions in order to make machine learning algorithms work correctly. Now, we start with code for cursive dimensionality. For that, first we need to import NumPy and Pandas. Next, we will import Random and Math. After importing the libraries, we will add these lines of code to generate random numbers between 0 and 1 from uniform distribution with the given dimension, which is equivalent of length of array or list. Next, we will define a function to calculate root mean sum of squares of Euclidean distances between points by taking the difference between points and sum the squares and finally calculates square root of total distance. Both dimension and number of pairs are utilized for calculating the distances with these lines of code. Now, we will calculate mean of the distance. Let's change the dimensions from 1 to 201 with the increase of 5 dimensions to check the increase in distance. We will add to arrays for average distance and minimum distance. Using NumPy, we will empty the dummy arrays. With the next command, we will data frame the values and put it into columns. Next, we will create a variable i equals to zero. After that, we will add a for loop to check the dimensions. When we run the command, we get the output like this. Now, let's plot average distances for various dimensions. 
We will first import matplotlib.pyplot. After import it, we will plot the figure. Next, we will give the labels using these lines of code. Then, we will plot the dimension and average distance. After that, we will plot legend as best. Finally, we will show the plot using the show command. Let's run it. Here is the plot for Curse of Dimensionality. Now we will see Curse of Dimensionality for 1D, 2D, and 3D with example. A quick analysis has been done to see how distance 60 random points are expanding with the increase in dimensionality. Let's start with random point drawn for one dimension. First, we will import these libraries. Next, we will randomize the data points using this command. Using this command, we will data frame it. After that, we will put it in columns as 1D data. We will give the height as 1. Let's plot the figure. As you can see, it is plotted. Using this command, we will scatter the plot. Next, we will tick and label the points. Finally, we will run the show command to see the plot. Here is the output for one dimensional plot. If we observe this graph, all 60 data points are very nearby in one dimension. Here, we are repeating the same example in a 2D space by taking 60 random numbers with X and Y coordinate space and plotted them visually. This is the output for 2D plot. By observing the 2D graph, we can see that more gaps have been appearing for the same 60 data points. Finally, we will draw 60 data points for 3D space. First, we randomize the data. Next, we data frame it and put it into columns as x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. After that, we import axis 3D. Using this command, we plot the figure. We then give the subplotting and projection. We scatter the plot into x, y, and z axis. Finally, we display the plot using the show command. Here is the output for 3D plot. In this video, we have learned about k nearest neighbor. 